In front of me, I have three brand new pressure washers from a company called Arva from Norway. But there is one in particular today that I want to put all my focus on, and it's this one right here. This is the Arva Evolution P80. This brand new pressure washer is built from the ground up, and this is one of the top of the range models that I'm featuring. And as we go through the video, I will be revealing some pretty awesome features that even I've never seen before. And we're going to be testing this out on a BMW and I will be covering all the pros and all the cons and we will find out once and for all if this newcomer really is a Kranzel killer. So a couple of videos back I featured the Neil Fisk P180 and I was raving about how good it was to have a hose reel. However, Arva have taken it one step further. Instead of just a standard hose reel, we now have a follow me hose reel as well. So basically what that's gonna do is reduce the risk furthermore of getting any kinking on the hose. And while we're on the subject of the hose, why don't you take a look at this? Because this is not your average domestic hose. This is a proper commercial grade one. And not only that, we have got an amazing lance as well. Now, if you look at it here, it does look solid, but there is a tiny drawback. Maybe it's just too heavy because of the weight of it, but there has to be a reason why this is a heavy lance. And it's a pretty good one at that because this is one of the first ones I've ever seen that you can get straight out of the box and it does that, it fully extends. Now I know what you're thinking, is that gonna be too heavy for using it every single day? It's a very good question, but they have come up with a solution as well and this is brilliant. You have a quick release. So now we've taken that bit of the lance off. We can now put this nozzle on and voila, we have a stubby gun, just like that. It's brilliant. They've thought about every single little detail that the detailer wants. And not to mention the storage as well. We've got space here for your snow foam cannon. You've got space for nozzles and accessories. And because they've got the quick release that clips into it, everything holds in in its own little place. And I think it's a pretty well thought out design, if I'm honest. And here is another first for you. This model also has a wind up reel for your plug, which is a great idea for storage. This basically means if this thing fell over in the van, nothing should fall out. So I think it's fair to say that this is one of the best pressure washers I've ever seen in terms of their thought out design. I now wanna see what it's gonna be like in the real world. So we're gonna try it out on this BMW behind me. So we're going to be skipping all the wheel cleaning bits and we're gonna jump straight into the power test. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is try out the stubby gun. Now we have got three different settings on this nozzle here. So we've got super wide, medium, and we've got narrow. So we can go for anything you want here. So we've got it on as wide as it can possibly go. So I'm probably gonna guess and say it's not gonna be as powerful, but we'll see what happens anyway. What? Holy mother of God. Okay, that's extraordinary. Look at the power on that. That's unbelievable. Honestly, that is, that is the most ridiculous power I've ever felt from a stubby gun. Like, nothing comes close to this. I think that's what you need for car cleaning. That other one was ridiculous. Let, let me do a quick comparison. Flipping it. Yeah, that is mega. Now let's try it on medium again. That's better. Much better, much better. But we've got one more setting to try. We're not gonna stop there. We're gonna see what it's like on full power mode. So it's gonna basically make the nozzle a lot more narrow, so all the water is gonna be compressed into one tighter area. Now, I'm no scientist, but I'm gonna guess and say this is gonna blow my brains off. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, you could launch a rocket from that. Look at this power, look how powerful that is. It's like a flipping jetpack. Oh my God. Actually, there is one thing I have to do while I've got my dirty van here. I just wanna see how crazy this power is. This is gonna be immense. Look at 
There's no chemicals on that. That is, look, no chemicals. After carrying out the full valet on the van, I went on to snow foaming the BMW with their own Canon. And for the millionth time in this video, you can see me smiling. And the foam came out better than the standard Karcher ones that I used in the past. And if you haven't seen any of my pressure washer videos yet, then I have a dedicated playlist, which I'll list in the description below, so you can go check them out after this video is finished. After using this foam cannon for a few seconds, I realized there was a bit of a drawback because this snow foam cannon gozzled up the foam so quickly and I used a whole bottle on just one side of the car. So if you're working in the hot sun, you have gotta be quick and prepared to top up the snow foam. So yes, it was good at producing a nice consistent layer of foam, but compared to the MTM PF22, it wasted way too much product. So bear that in mind if you're gonna be buying it for regular use. Setting number two had more benefits because the water came out of both nozzles. So you got one wide and one narrow at the same time. So you could target smaller gaps and still get wide coverage. That's a good feature because when this is too wide and you've got very narrow gaps in here, you'll see that doesn't always get in. So when you put it on the narrow mode, oh, you can get right at the back. If I was to be a little bit negative, I would say because it's so powerful, it feels like you're fighting a battle against this thing. So I'll show you now. But that is if you run it on full power, like ideally for car cleaning, you need it on the middle setting, which is this one. And I like that because it comes out of both nozzles as well. So I think it's a pretty cool feature to have. It's nice to have the option of all three, if I'm honest, because every car is different. That's pretty interesting because when you've got this lance on, although this is a bit heavier, it stops you getting that kickback. So you've got more control. So I've just run that on full power. I'm gonna do it again here when I put it on this one, on narrow mode. Nothing, it doesn't feel like I've got any back pressure. So this is actually doing its job pretty well and it does make sense. So the more I think about it, they're literally like reinventing the rule book. We're now at the point of the video where I need to blow your mind with some more random thoughts. And this one is quite common when you clean those cars in the autumn time, as I will now explain. Okay, so I wanna explain something to you. Now, if you're using your traditional stubby gun, what you're gonna find is whenever you clear out sort of the gutter bits on the bonnet, you're gonna find that you can blast bits out of here and then they're gonna end up over there. And then at that point, you've gotta then walk around with the stubby gun and blast it out and hope that you're not gonna blast it over to this side. And this is a major problem because what you're gonna do is you're gonna get soaking wet and especially in the winter, it can be a bit of a nightmare. But if you bear with me now, let me just show you a better alternative. So let me show you my theory. Now we've extended this lance out. Now if we got the gutters where we've got blown leaves, which always happens this time of the year, you can stick this right in. And you can get completely across to the other side without getting wet. This believe it or not, is genius. And it doesn't stop there, because I've never seen so many accessories for one piece of equipment ever. And if you visit the Arva website, you will see there is three pages full of bits that even I didn't even think existed. So that was a really successful clean. That BMW is looking absolutely stunning behind me now. And this machine has just ticked every single box that I would personally look for. If I wanted a machine that came with absolutely everything together, bundled in one big package, this is what I'd go for. 
I'm not done yet because I wanted to see how the patio cleaning nozzle would perform on the P80. And this one didn't disappoint because it didn't just remove the moss, it annihilated it. So to answer that clickbaity thumbnail, I'd be foolish to say this is a Kranzel killer because these have not been out long enough to get a good idea on reliability, customer service and other factors which only time will tell. So I'm going to be using this for the next six months. So every time I find any positives or negatives, I will update it in the description below. So I've already made a few notes and I have been using this since filming and I have discovered a few little things. So this machine has been a massive hit with me. I love the stubby gun. I love the extra long lance. And I was quite impressed by this as well, the snow foam cannon. Now, I will be honest with you, it used two lots of snow foam. Like I did half the car and I realized that I got through the whole bottle and I had that filled up to the top, by the way. So that was a little annoying because I had to refill it up. And obviously, as some of you know, you have to wash the bottle out or you're gonna get loads of foam come out the top when you refill it. That can be a bit of a pain as well. But the patio nozzle was great. I love the different uses that you get on the standard nozzle, having three different fan settings. Everything else was absolutely brilliant. So if you want to know where you can get these from, head on over to cleanstore.co.uk where you'll find the best prices. And not just with this machine, there are other ones out there as well, which I will be featuring later on throughout the year on this channel.